Oh my God, why is mathematics so difficult? I have so many sums to practice in this chapter. How will I complete my math syllabus? Do you know why most students find mathematics difficult or they are not able to do well in the maths exam? It's not due to lack of practice. It's not because they are not putting effort. The reason is that most students don't know the correct techniques of how to practice maths. In this video, I'm going to share the secret tips that only 1% of the students know. I'm sure if you apply these simple techniques, you'll see a big improvement in your math solving skills and you'll be able to complete your math syllabus at double speed. So be sure to watch the entire video and do share it out with your friends. So are you ready to be a maths wizard and crack your maths exams? Let's dive right into it. Tip number one, the one third rule. When you pick up your maths textbook to practice sums from a chapter, practice only one third of the chapter exercise. Don't practice all the chapter questions in one shot. Why? Because when you're practicing the same type of questions, it becomes mechanical. You're working like a robot. Your brain is not thinking much, so you're not learning a lot. A simple technique is to label all the sums in your exercise from the starting to the last sum as A, B, C, A, B, C and so on. So complete only set A which is one third of the exercise on the first day. Do set B after a few days and the remaining set C in the next week. This will give your brain time to absorb the chapter. When you sit with the sums the next day, you'll automatically see that they'll seem easier than the first day. So use the one third rule and you'll see a big improvement in your math skills. Tip number two, practice previous year's questions. Maths is not about memorizing. It's all about practice, practice and more practice. But which book should you use? A common mistake I've seen that students buy many books and start practicing from all the books and get confused. Don't do that. For CBSE students, I would recommend to first practice from the NCRT book and your school textbook. And then you should get the latest question bank so that you can practice previous year's questions. Here, I would recommend the Oswal books CBSE question banks. These question banks are designed strictly based on the latest CBSE term 2 syllabus for the 2022 board exams. They contain both objective and subjective type questions based on the latest syllabus. The books also have mind maps and chapter revision notes and questions are divided based on the chapters. I'll put a link to the Oswal books below. So do check it out. It's very important to get an idea of what type of questions come in your board exam so that your brain becomes tuned to that. So remember to practice previous year's questions. Tip number three, learn maths concepts from a teacher. Mathematics is about understanding the concept and knowing how to solve the sums. Don't waste time reading the theory in the textbooks and trying to understand it yourself. It will take more time. A smart strategy is to learn the concepts and the way of solving from a teacher or you can watch a video on the topic. One issue is that every teacher has a different style and approach of solving questions in maths. So if you watch too many different videos, you'll get confused. I would suggest to watch the videos of the teacher whose style of teaching you're comfortable with. For example, you can watch our maths videos or videos of other teachers. So get your concepts crystal clear and then start solving the sums. If you want videos on all the topics, do check out our website, manuchaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. We have videos on science, mathematics and computer coding. So do check it out. Tip number four, fresh mind. Maths is a logical and analytical subject. Practicing maths is like solving puzzles. You need a fresh mind for mathematics. So plan out your day in such a way that you're practicing maths when your brain is rested 
and fresh. Now, what is the best time? That depends on you. For some students, the brain is at its peak early in the morning and for some in the afternoon or evening. So that depends on your schedule. If you're practicing maths with a tired mind, then your speed will be slow. You'll not be able to solve the questions and you'll feel demotivated. So practice maths with a fresh mind. Other theory subjects you can read even when your brain is a bit tired. Tip number five. Don't touch the calculator. Make a promise or your new year resolution not to use the calculator. These days, the calculator app is there on the smartphone. Remove it from the home screen. Don't use it. The more you practice and do calculations, the faster you'll get at it and your speed will increase. This will help you complete your exam in time. Learn calculation tricks from your teachers and practice them while solving sums. For example, let's say you have to calculate 7 divided by 25. Don't start by doing the division. We can easily convert the 25 to 100 so it will be easy to find the decimal answer. So multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. So we get 28 by 100 and the answer is 0 0.28. When solving surface area and volume sums, don't substitute the value of pi directly. Don't be in a hurry. First, form your equation. Take things common. Sometimes you'll see the value of pi gets cancelled on both sides. So use calculation tricks like this and solve your sums two or three times faster. Tip number six. Struggle makes you stronger. One of my favorite quotes is, when there is no struggle, there is absolutely no progress. So struggle with the maths questions. Try to solve them yourselves. Don't directly look at the solutions. Because when you're struggling, you are learning. The mind is making the neural connections. Let's say when you're practicing mathematics and you're not able to solve a question, don't worry or Google for the solution. Give it a break or try it the next day. Magically, you will see the brain thinks in a different way after the break and you'll be able to solve it. This will improve your problem solving skills. Also, star mark the questions you find difficult or can't solve so that you can revise these tricky questions again before your test. So struggle with the maths questions. And now for tip number seven, have a solution minded approach. Consider math sums as puzzles and have a solution-minded approach. Now, what is a solution-minded approach? When you read a question, write down the data in the sum. Write the relevant formulas because it always helps to write it down and have it in front of you. You can get to the solution faster. Don't just keep reading the question or trying to solve it mentally. Often in maths, the important thing is to start the sum and try different approaches and see what works. You don't have to write the detailed steps for every sum that you practice. You can practice detailed steps or theorems for a few questions. And after that, just write it roughly so that you are able to save your time. In geometry or surface area and volume questions, make sure you draw a rough diagram to visualize the question. So use these tips and tricks when solving the questions and have a positive solution minded approach. Hope you found these maths tips useful. Do let me know what was your favorite tip by putting it in the comments below. Do check out the Oswald books term two question banks. I'll put the links below. And also do check the full courses on our website manuchaacademy.com. We have courses on maths, physics, chemistry, biology, and computer coding. In our courses, you'll get live classes, interactive videos, quizzes, questions, mock tests, and revision notes. And do share out this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. So here's wishing you all the best with your maths practice. 
keep practicing and learning and do check out the full courses for physics, chemistry, biology, maths and computer coding on our website manochaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. Hope you like it and happy learning.